Well, hello there, guys, girls, non-binary people. It's your favorite unsalted cracker. It's Brother Reed here today, as always. People with us today, we're joining back by our sidekick, The Box. Let's not forget we also have with us today, we have Alexa. Good morning. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Here's some news to get your day sizzling. It's National Bacon Day. What? So go ahead and ham it up. What? There are still two more days before those New Year's resolutions begin. Never knew that. National Bacon Day, people. That's my favorite meat and the ex-wife's second favorite meat behind that BBC. But anyway, guys, as always, it looks like it's that time. It's time for another exciting, insane, super official, thought-provoking, straight-edge food product review. If YouTube's only true, there's there, your food product reviewer. We have it today, people. We have the Doritos 3D Crunch. Uh, we looked for the spicy flavor also, but we could not find it. So we're going to continue to look for that today and hopefully bring that review to you tomorrow. But we have these right now. They were $4 at my local Walmart. And uh, we're going to see just what they're all about. See if they're worth it. See if they're any good. Right? Right. So this is great, people. I'm glad to finally get these. It's been requested, so we're going to get right to this. So as always, guys, remember if you have anything you'd like, read the box, Archer Lecture View. you got to leave that comment below. Because if we like your comment, guys, we might just pick it out and review your request next. Thumbnail, it looks like Doritos has changed the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alrighty, guys, let's get right to it. Let's see what all that noise is about. Doritos 3D. I don't ever remember having these. I don't remember. I just don't. So there's what they look like. You got to look at it right there. Looks pretty sweet. Look at that. It's 3D, people. It looks like a bugle. Remember those chips that was called bugles? Remember those? It's what it looks like. Here we go. get a lot of air in these chips of course so of course we know the inside of it is just puffed up like a puffer fish like that like a puffer fish okay. yeah they're good but it, are they as good as you would expect that's the question they got the chili cheese nacho flavor They're good, people. But I'll tell you this right now. I expected more. I expected more flavor. I expected I expected better from these. I'll just be honest with you. I'm not I'm not here to uh, you know sugarcoat it. These are good, but they fall short of what I expected. I expected more from these people. The flavor just is just not there. It's just not there. Mm. But they're still good. They're still Doritos, no doubt about that. You still got that Doritos flavor, as expected. I feel like I need a little bit of a stronger chili cheese flavor with these. But, you know, they are still good. They still taste very nice. But I was just expecting more. I was expecting more from the Doritos 3D. I really was. Um, good flavor. I feel like we need a little bit of a stronger cheese and chili flavor with these. But they still get the job done. I'm kind of a kind of surprised, really, people. I thought they'd be better. I'll just be honest with you. I thought they would be. I, I was expecting more. So maybe I have uh, the virus and I can't taste anything. Maybe that's going on. But uh, <laughs> I mean, you never know. I wouldn't know if I had it or not. But uh, anyway, people. A lot of people don't know they have it when they've got it. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. But anyway, people. Um, Doritos 3D Crunch Party Size. I'm going to have to say they're good, but they're not great. 
Now that's my personal opinion. I'm gonna give them three stars, which is still a very solid score for anything on the show. Three stars are still good. Uh, I wonder if this is gonna be permanent. Is it gonna be limited edition? Is it gonna, you know, disappear one day? Is it, you know, is it gonna be out for three months and that's it? It all depends, I guess, on the sales. But that is pretty much it, people. We're gonna go look and try to find the um, the spicy ones. I think they came out today also. They've been out, but of course we didn't get them in our area till today. I'm gonna go over to the uh, Kroger, I guess, and give them a shot. See what they've got. Oh, there's a Doritos truck right there. Maybe they're gonna put them in. Anyway, people. Yeah, there might be some right there. Anyway, hopefully I can find the other ones and do a review on them tomorrow. And uh, we'll see what we've got. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the fish review. As always, thank you so much for watching. Check them out. Let me know what you think about them. If you had these back in the 90s, I think, when they came out, let me know if they're any good. And that's pretty much it, people. That's going to be the fish review. As always, thank you so much for watching. Me, the box, Archie Alexa. We'll see you guys. As always, tomorrow we do a review every day, 366 days. You have a great day, and thank you so much. See you later. Toodles. Man, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. It's so sweet and so good. It's like it's just perfect. It's not over the top. It's not overly done. It's absolutely spectacular how they've made this flavor so good. Words cannot describe how good this one is. This is one of my favorite flavors of all time already. And the can, I love the butterflies. Look at that, you see that on the corner there. It's the butterfly effect, I guess you could say. The butterfly effect. And it's wonderful. This is a real treat, people. I highly recommend this one. This is one of the best flavors of Monster we've had in a long time. Very good. It's just right. It's just right. Now, the mango, you're thinking, well, if it tastes like that, if it tastes like the Monster Mango, I think there's a Monster Mango flavor.